Uh, Shalom, Apostle Hawk, coming back at you with this truth, giving all praise to your help by Shem Yahweh Shai. Um, and I'm going to entitle this Obadiah, verse 18, and the Hebrew. In other words, I'm going to re read Obadiah the first, which is one chapter long, and the 18th verse, and I'm going to go into the he in other words, I'm going to go into whatever English word I read. Like if I read Edom, I'm going to go into the Hebrew and read it and explain it in Hebrew. Uh, if I come across the word flame, I'm going to actually go into the Hebrew. And uh, it's important to uh, have some knowledge of the Hebrew. You know, we're not saying that you got to be an expert in Hebrew and you got to speak it fluently, but that would be good too. If you can f speak uh, fluent Hebrew, fluent Greek, fluent Latin. Anyway, before I go into that uh, topic, I'm going to say a few words on this guy. Look like an Edomite. Uh, Jesus is the word and this uh, this is uh, the video is entitled uh, one body in Yahweh Shai doesn't know the scriptures follows us through the parking lot now this guy who goes by the YouTube name Jesus is the word he's supposed to be from out of the Dallas area and I'm I'm, I'm wondering why he doesn't go to uh the main camp, GMS main camp, which is uh, GMS Dallas, where you have, uh, I'll name some of the uh, men, uh, leaders, you know, you have uh, Yashawamba, which you call Elder Yashawamba, and Elder, you know, new new, new Elder Yashawamba, and new Elder uh, uh, Ariala, and then you have the other men, you know, that's a part of that leadership that came in almost 10 years ago, or about 9, 10 years ago. Some of them came in maybe 7, 8 years ago. Anyway, um, uh, this guy is going to all the different camps, but he um, forgot about uh, that particular camp. And if he's about defending the gospel, he should go to that camp. Anyway, this video is entitled One Body in Yahushai Doesn't Know the Scriptures, Follows Us Through the Parking Lot. Now, he makes a statement, all right? This guy that looks like an Edomite. And I'm going to let you listen to what he uh, says. Did you hear what he said? Let me play it again. Of Esau, of me, Edom, of me, I do me, of me, Satan, of me, the devil, of me, Lucifer, of me, Riddle, I do me, and some holy Christ into the world that is the root of the world. Where was Christ for duty? Riddle, okay, I want, I want the scripture where the Idumians uh, follow the, the Lord into the wilderness. And I think I know what scripture he's uh, talking about, but I want him to uh, give me the scripture. And um, if uh, he ever, you know, rolls up on uh, GMS uh, Dallas, uh, the main camp, while... Uh, those brothers are out there. I mean, they can also ask him the same question. So if he does roll up on y'all, y'all ask him that question. Whether he does, sees, whether he he checks this video out that I'm doing and uh, gives me the answer, which I don't think he's gonna do. Anyway, um. That's what I. That's what I want to know. Where, what, where's the scripture? But I think I know what he's talking about, and that's all I'm going to say on that. 
anyway, let's go to, uh, and if you notice, I don't make long videos. I just hit, hit the point, you know, because, uh, you make a five hour video that's, you know, people don't have that attention span to listen to a five hour video. Now, if we're out there in the uh, street speaking, you know, we out there for three, four hours or whatever. Then you're just seeing the whole speaking, you know. You know, we're not editing it. It's, it's given to you raw when we do the live stream, you know, on the highways and the byways. Anyway, I'm going to go right into uh, Obadiah, which is uh, one chapter long in the 18th verse. I'm the first reading the Eng English. It says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for, your ho for the Lord have spoken it. Okay, so now let's go back and go into these Hebrew words. Okay, Obadiah. Okay. It says, um, and the house. Now the word for house is bayath in the Hebrew of Jacob. Jacob in the Hebrew is Yaikwab. Or ya um ya ya Iquab. And if you come across the word Jacob, you know, it starts with the letter J, which the J didn't come about until the, um, the uh, I believe it was the 1700s. You can look it up for yourself. And it says, um, Jacob, heel holder or supplanter. It actually means supplanter son of Isaac, grandson of Abraham, and father of the twelve patriarchs of the tribes of Israel. So when it says Jacob or Yaikwab, it says in the house of Jacob, it's talking about the children of Israel. Shall be a fire, and the word there is ash, which is, is a Hebrew way of saying fire. And by the way, in the book uh, History of the um, uh, was it History of the American Indians by John Adair, and I happen I happen to have a copy of that book somewhere in, somewhere around here. He go he he says pretty much in that book that he lived and he traded among. The, the so-called American Indians, and he found out through his uh, trading among them and living among them, he he found he came to the conclusion that they would have to be one of the tribes of the children of Israel. And there's a section in the book where he goes into some of the words that they use, which are actually Hebrew words. There was a, there's a document out there, and I can look it up. Y'all can look it up where uh, Chris, Cristobal Colon, the so-called Jew from Spain, uh, better known as, uh, uh, also known as uh, Christopher Columbus, when he came to uh, the New World, or the Americas, he had um, a handful of uh, Hebrews, uh, Hebrew translators. So did he know that he was going to encounter um, Hebrews or, or Israelites. Anyway, going back to this word, Ash, just like I said, James Adair said in his book, History of the American Indian, that one of the words that they use for fire is the word Ash. I mean, you can you don't got to take my word for it. You can look it up on your own. Then it says, and the house or Waha Bayath. Bayath is Hebrew for house. 
of Joseph, uh, which is uh, in the Hebrew, Yahweh Sap, which means he will add. The Yah meaning he, uh, was Sap meaning add, or he will increase. And he did, when you read the story of uh, him being sold into slavery by his brothers, he became great in the land of so-called Egypt. So now you notice it said, and the house of Jacob, and then it goes on, shall be a fire in the house of Joseph, a flame. Now why did it separate? First of all, Joseph is not a tribe, even though the the Joseph can be interchanged with the word with, with the tribe of Ephraim. Because Joseph had two sons. You go into the history, Joseph had two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh. Firstborn son was Manasseh, second born was uh, Ephraim. And um and the word Ephraim a, a pariah means uh, fruitful. And Manasseh uh is uh, made to forget. So even though Manasseh was the firstborn son, the blessing went to his secondborn son as if he was the firstborn. So the word uh, Joseph can be interchangeable with, with the tribe of Ephraim. If you go to Numbers, uh, the first chapter in Numbers, if you go to uh, Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, the 16th verse also, if you go to Revelation 7 chapter, it mentions the the tribes, the twelve tribes out of the out of, uh, each tribe. There was twelve thousand out of each tribe, but which made up one hundred forty four thousand. It mentions the tribe of Joseph. And the tribe of Joseph, when you come across the word Joseph in Revelation seven, we know it's talking about the tribe of Ephraim. So why did it separate Jacob from uh, Joseph? Was not Joseph a son of Jacob? Well, Jacob represents the whole house of Israel, but you had a split. And the uh, who led that um, split was uh, a man by the name of uh, Jeroboam when um, Solomon's uh, son Rehoboam sat on the throne. Uh, Jeroboam, uh, Ephraimite, he he was uh confronted by um the prophet Ahijah and he uh, tore, tore his his garment part of his garment or his whole garment and he tore tore it up into twelve pieces and he gave him ten ten of those pieces and he said that you you're gonna be over these ten tribes and that's what wound up happening. So there was a split. There was two kingdom, kingdoms, the kingdom of uh, uh, Judah and the kingdom of Israel. So now when you go back to Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, in the 16th verse, it speaks about bringing both those houses together. So, you know, right now we're in the process of these two houses coming together as one. To fulfill the prophecy of um, Isaiah the 14th chapter, starting from the first verse, that speaks about the children of Israel coming back together. It says in, in the book of Jeremiah that uh, that they both were oppressed together. You know, Judah and and Israel, meaning the two kingdoms. So now that the them two, these two kingdoms coming back together and coming again to Esau it didn't happen yet it's getting ready to happen so it says and it says in the house of Joseph a flame and the word flame is la haba la haba which means flame in the Hebrew Flame, tip of weapon, weapon, point, head of spear.
so they're going to burn something. It says, and the house of Esau. By the way, when it says the house of Jacob, it's talking about the whole house of Jacob. When it talks about the house of Joseph, it's talking about the whole entire house of Joseph. When they come together, it's going to be one nation, the, the nation of Israel, or the sons of Israel, or the children of Israel. It says in the house of Esau, which is talking about the whole house, for stubble. What is stubble? When you chop trees down and, uh, you know, there's left up pieces of wood there, that's uh, stubble. And you can use that for, uh, for fuel, uh, stubble. And they, the house of Jacob and the house of Joseph, which is the children of Israel, which are the children of Israel, and they, the Israelites, shall kindle. The word here uh, for kindle in the Hebrew is, a uh, kindle is uh, dalak. And it means to burn, hotly pursue, to burn, to hotly pursue, to kindle, to inflame. It says, and, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. The them right here is in them and devour them are the Edomites. And the word um, devour is a Hebrew and the word in the Hebrew is uh, a cow, which literally means to eat. When we say our prayers over the food before we eat, We'll say Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Barak, Hama Akal. Hama Akal is Ha the Ma meaning pertaining to um, eat, which means food. It's another way of saying food. So the word here is akal, which means to eat, devour. Now we're not going to eat these Edomites, all right? So if you if you take the scripture literally, you might say, "Well, we're going to eat the eat. We're not going to eat the Edomites. We're going we're going to eat them up with fire." You know, the streets when some when two two people get into a fight and one guy beats the shit out of the other, you might say, "Oh, he ate his ass. He ate his ass up." I mean, he beat him down. He devoured him, devoured them, or devoured him. So it also means to eat, devour, consume. To eat, devour, burn, burn up, feed, to eat, to eat, devour, to de devour, consume of fire, to devour, slay of the sword. To devour, consume, destroy, pestilence, drought, to devour, of oppression, to be eaten, to be devoured, consumed, of fire. So the fire is going to eat you. You're going to be fuel for the fire. To be wasted, destroyed, of flesh, to cause to eat, feed, with, to cause to devour, to feed, to cause to eat, to uh, consume. Like I said, we're not going to eat you Edomites. But that fire that we're going to use is going to eat you. It says, and this, and this right here, this line right here is important. And there shall not be any remaining. The word there is... Sharayad. Sharayad means remain. So there's not going to be any remaining. Remain, remaining left. 
or leftover remnant alive rest. Well, it says there's not going to be any of you left. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For Yahweh, the Most High, have spoken it. So what's going to happen based upon this verse? There's going to be a point in time in our kingdom that we're going to gather all the Edomites and we're going to dispose of them. And don't get mad at me. Let's let's say let's say the Most High said, well, he's going to dispose of 80% uh, of them and we're going to leave 20% of them around. Well, I have no problem with that if the Most High said that. I don't have a problem kicking them in the ass for the rest of eternity and enslaving them. I'm all right with that. But that's not what the scriptures say, man. You got to go by what the scriptures say. Anyway, with that, I'm going to close. If you uh, have any comments, put your comments in the comment section. Uh, make uh, response videos. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.